Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is Thursday of the third week of Advent. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the Rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it falls formed by His hands. Come, come let, let us worship, worship the Lord, the King, King who is to come. come. Come then let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are his people, the flock his shepherds. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Today listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn, as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Forty years I endured that generation, I said, There are people whose hearts go stray, and they do not know my ways. So I saw in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship the Lord, the King who is to come. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. On the holy mountain is his city, cherished by the Lord. The Lord prefers the gates of Zion to all Jacob's dwellings. Of you are tall glorious things, O city of God. Babylon and Egypt I will count. Among those who know me, Philistia, Tyre, Ethiopia, these will be her children, and Zion shall be called mother for all shall be her children. It is he, the Lord Most High, who gives each his place. In his register of peoples he writes, These are her children, and while they dance they will sing, in, all, in you all find their form. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord, the mighty conqueror, will come, he will bring with him the price of victory. Here comes with power the Lord God, who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the eels with care. Who has carved his hand with the waters of the sea and marked off the heavens with a span? who has held in a measure the dust of the earth, weighed the mountains in skills, and the hills in a balance. Who has directed the Spirit of the Lord, or has instructed him as his counselor? Whom did he consult to gain knowledge, who taught him the path of judgment, or showed him the way of understanding? Behold, the nations count as a drop of the bucket, as a dust on the skills, the coastlands weighed more than powder. Lebanon would not suffice for food, 
nor its animals be enough for holocaust. Before him all the nations are as naught, as nothing, and void his accounts them. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give praise to the Lord our God, bow down before his holy mountain. The Lord is King, the peoples tremble. He is thrown on the cherubim, the earth cracks. The Lord is great in Zion. He is supreme over all the peoples. Let them praise his name, so terrible and great. He is holy, full of power. You are a king who loves what is right. You have established equity, justice, and right. You have established them in Jacob. I saw the Lord our God, bow down before Zion his footstool. He, the Lord, is holy. Among his priests were Aaron and Moses. Among those who invoked his name was Samuel. They invoked the Lord and he answered. To them he spoke in the pillar of cloud. They did his will, they kept the Lord, which he, the Lord, had given. O Lord our God, you answered them. For them you were a God who forgives, yet you punish all their offenses. Exalt the Lord our God, bow down before his holy mountain, for the Lord our God is holy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Unworthy servants that we are, O Lord, grieved by the guilt of our deeds, we pray that you may gladden us by the saving advent of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Raise a glad cry, you barren one who did not bear. Break forth in jubilant song, you who were not in labor. For more numerous are the children of the deserted wife than the children of her who has husband, says the Lord. Enlarge the space for your tent, spread out your tent cloths unsparingly. Lengthen your robes and make firm your stakes. For you shall spread abroad to the right and to the left, your descendants shall dispose the nations and shall people the desolate cities. Fear not, you shall not be put to shame. You need not blush, for you shall not be disgraced. The shame of your youth you shall not forget. The reproach of your widowhood no longer remember. For he who has become your husband is your maker. His name is the Lord of hosts. Your Redeemer is the Holy One of Israel, called God of all the earth. The Lord calls you back, like a wife forsaken and grieved in his spirit. A wife married in youth and then cast off, says your God. For a brief moment I abandoned you, but with great tenderness I will take you back. In an outburst of wrath, for a moment, I hid my face from you. But with enduring love, I take pity on you, says the Lord, your Redeemer. This is for me like the days of Noah, when I saw that the waters of Noah should never again deluge the earth. So I have sworn not to be angry with you or to rebuke you. Though the mountains leave their place and the hills be shaken, my love shall never leave you, nor my covenant of peace be shaken, says the Lord who has mercy on you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will praise you, Lord, for you have rescued me. I will extol you, O Lord, for you drew me clear and did not let my enemies rejoice over me. O Lord, you brought me up 
from the nether world you preserved me from among those going down into the pit i will praise you lord for you have rescued me sing praise to the lord you his faithful ones and give thanks to his holy name for his anger lasts but a moment a lifetime his good will at night fall weeping enters in but with the dawn rejoicing i will praise you lord for you have rescued me hear o lord and have pity on me o lord be me my helper you change my mourning into dancing o lord my god forever will i give you thanks i will praise you lord for you have rescued me please stand Prepare the way of the Lord make straight his paths all flesh shall see the salvation of God The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. When the messengers of John the Baptist had left, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out to the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? Then what did you go out to see? Someone dressed in fine garments? Those who dress luxuriously and live sumptuously are found in royal palaces. Then what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom scripture says, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way before you. I tell you, among those born of women, no one is greater than John. Yet the least in the kingdom of God is greater than he. All the people who listened, including the tax collectors who were baptized with the baptism of John, acknowledged the righteousness of God. But the Pharisees and scholars of the law, who were not baptized by him, rejected the plan of God for themselves. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Magandang umagro po sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary. I'm pretty sure, katulad ng bawat umaga na ginawa ng Diyos dito sa Manawag, marami sa atin dito ay nanggaling sa kung saan-saan lugar. Parang given na yun. Every time, all our masses here are attended not only by people from Manawag, but from different places of the country. Um, marami sa Manila. So, um, maraming salamat sa inyong pagdating. Pero importante yung that's an important fact to speak of because a long time ago, at least when I was a novice here, that was many, many years ago, eh, it took about six hours from Manila to travel from Manila to Manawa. Six hours. I remember the trip uh, coming here, like, makatulog ka na ng ilang beses sa, sa sasakyan, nasa kali ka pa rin. Six hours, six hours it took to travel from Manila to Manawag. But in those six hours, there's a lot of places to see, a lot of, you know, something to look at. So sometimes uh, the time passes really fast. But nonetheless, six hours pa din. But today, <clears throat> with, um, with the SETEX and NLEX and TPLEX, on average, between two, two and a half to three hours na lang, Yung so, malaki na yung na, nabawas. 
Why? Because of the NLEX and the SCTEX and the TPLEX. And what's so important about NLEX, SCTEX, and TPLEX? Dire derecho. It's a straight, straight, straight highway. Not too many you know, twists and turns. There are a few, a little bit, but not very much. Dire derecho talaga yung highway. And smooth. Ngayon, mayroon construction ngayon sa NLEX somewhere, the bridge there. But, you know, when that's done, it's going to be smooth again. Walang lubak, walang, you know, walang masyadong elevation. Kung meron man, gradual lang. So it's a straight, straight path. And that makes this, the trip faster and easier. Mas madali. Mas mabilis ang biyahe. Importante yun kasi ganito din yung message ni John the Baptist sa mga tao in his time as they were preparing, as he was preparing the way of the Lord. Ang kanyang preaching ay make straight, repent, make straight the path of the Lord. Yun yun. Bakit make straight the path? So that it will become faster, it will become uh, easier, yung path to the Lord. So, mas importante, how do we make the, straight, the path straight? Paano ba natin tutuwirin, papatagin yung um, daanan dalawang bagay para maging patag di ba una kung may lubak if there's a recess on in the on the road papatungan mo tatabunan mo para maging pantay kung meron namang mound kung merong nakasobra diyan tatabasan mo para maging pantay di ba very logical to make straight the path you uh, fill in whatever is lacking, whether there is a hole, a pothole, and if there's a mount, if there's an elevation, you, uh, you cut it down, you level it. Siguro ganun din sa buhay natin. Not siguro, sigurado. Ganun din sa buhay natin. If we are going to make a straight path to the Lord in our own lives, we have to make level our way, the way to God, the way to God. So, siguro, tatanungin natin yung ating mga sarili. Bears us to, to ask ourselves. Dalawang questions. Una, saan ba tayo sumasobra? Ano ba ang sobra-sobra sa buhay natin? In which areas of our lives do we have an excess? Do we do excessively? Do we do too much of unnecessarily? Ano ba yun sa buhay natin? Siyempre, iba-iba tayo kasi iba-iba tayo ng buhay. So what do we do too much of? Especially things that are unnecessary or even more, things that are not good. If we overeat, if we overspend, if we overjudge other people, if we overcriticize, if we over uh, think too much about our miseries and our pains and our you know, what we don't like in our lives. Kaya sa tayo hindi masaya. Kaya hindi straight ang path to the Lord. Kaya hindi tayo madaling makarating sa Diyos kasi maraming excesses, maraming sobra. Or the other question would be, what do we lack? Ano naman yung hindi natin masyado nagagawa? Kulang tayo sa dasal. We don't pray too much. We don't pray enough. We don't give God enough time in our lives. We don't go to church too much, too often, not regularly. We don't go to confession regularly. We don't even think about our sins regularly. No examination of conscience. How can we become better, diba? Too little. Too little is also not great. Kailangan punuan, dagdagan, lalo na yung mga gagandang bagay na hindi natin ginagawa. Pag hindi, kulang tayo sa attention sa family. Kulang tayo ng pag-praise sa ating mga anak. We don't praise them enough. We don't see them enough. If we are lacking in our kind words, lacking in forgiveness, in love, in generosity, those we need to fill up some more. Do more of. Why? Because they're good. Because they're good. Because that's, that's um, how God lived with us. 
with generosity and love and justice. So all of this we do, Sato, and St. John the Baptist uh, preached it so that our path to the Lord, our way, our way to the Lord becomes faster and easier. So we ask God today, we ask God's help, we ask the Blessed Mother's help, na sana makuha natin na punuan kung ano yung kulang at ipatag kung ano yung so bawasan kung ano yung sobra so that we can make our path and for others also we can make the way to the Lord faster and smoother. Let us all stand up. <clears throat> the coming of our Redeemer was foretold by the prophets by preaching repentance for sins, John the Baptist heralded, heralded his coming. In the spirit of penance, let us ask God's help through our prayers. And after each petition, we pray, Lord, teach us your way. Lord, teach us your way, that the Holy Church may reveal the glory of the Lord for all people to see. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, teach us your way. That Christian leaders may become instruments of truth and justice and lead their people in the way of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, teach us your way. That our hearts may be open to receive the message of the prophets speaking like voices in the wilderness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, teach us your way that others may see the patience of God in the way we treat them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, teach us your way. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, teach us your way. For justice, peace, and development of the country, and for our brothers and ministry at San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, teach us your way. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa, and for our personal intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, teach us your way. That those whose deaths we recall may enjoy pardon and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, teach us your way. Most loving Father, look upon the needs of your people and grant our petitions as we prepare for your Son, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that through the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Let us pray now to our Father in heaven in the words that our Lord himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, have mercy, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this banquet. Lord, I'm Lord, not, I'm not worthy that, that you should, should enter under my roof, under my roof only but say only the say the word, my and my soul shall, shall be healed. Please stand. Arise, arise, Lord, show us your power and might. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. 
Through his holy prophets, he promised of all that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he sorrowed to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Arise, arise, Lord, show us your power and might. Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa Santa Misa. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass ascended, we go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thanks be to God. We now bless the sick and the religious articles. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary. May all these articles be blessed and those who use them made holy as they fulfill the will of God according to the example of the Blessed Mother. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.